Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our internal medicine uh, lecture series. Today we're talking about the New York Heart Association uh, functional classification system that we, you really have to know about. You know, as we deal with our patients with congestive heart failure, it's the most common cause of hospitalization in patients older than 65 in the United States. So you're going to see a lot of people with uh, CHF, uh, and uh, it's important to know about this classification system, which has been around for uh, decades, by the way. So basically, there's there's four classes in this system. Uh, class one uh, are patients who have uh, very mild heart failure. They really basically have no limitation of activity. They have no shortness of breath uh, with ordinary activity. Class two are patients who have mild slight limitation of activity. Uh, they have, they're comfortable at rest, but ordinary physical activity results in fatigue, palpitations, or shortness of breath. Uh, class three patients have moderate uh, limitation of activity. They're comfortable at rest, but less than ordinary activity uh, causes fatigue, palpitations, or shortness of breath. And lastly, class four patients have severe uh, problems with uh, symptoms. They're unable to really carry out any physical activity uh, without discomfort. <clears throat> symptoms are also present uh, at rest. At rest and discomfort uh, will be increased with activity. So you need to know about the uh, New York uh, Heart Association uh, classification system. And uh, this has been a good summary uh, of that problem. Uh, again, just to repeat, uh, most common cause of hospitalization of our patients over age 65 uh, is CHF, whether it be related to coronary artery disease, it's the aging process, uh, aortic stenosis, uh, alcohol, uh, or just you know non-compliance with medications. Uh, these are all common reasons for uh, CHF. So, Dr. Goldberg uh, signing off. Thank you.